Okay, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on the Phantom 3 standard, uh, how to take the Kimball off since I haven't seen anything online uh, on how to do it. So, first, uh, what you have to do is you take these pins off right here. You take this pin and then this pin off and there's two ways to do it. You can cut them off or you can push them down further onto the plastic so they stretch and then try to pull them off real quick so that they just come out like that, two pieces. Alright, so let's see, there's two of those. I left them on here for uh, about 30 minutes, getting stretched out nice and tight, and then they can be reused. So, one of the main differences, get these boots off, in the uh, 3 standard and the Pro and Advanced, is the standard has one little gray wiring harness and then a gray uh, cord and a black cord or wire. So once you get those out, then what you have left, let me turn this around. All right. So, then what you have to do is you, well, turn this around, I can flip this over to here. So, first you have to get this cable out right here, and then these two come next. This one is just your typical, uh, Cable like the uh, everything else in here, so have to carefully pry that out so that you don't hurt anything. So let me see. I'll get that out and show the other stuff. Okay, now, I was able to get this out, so the next step, and maybe even the easiest, is you, let's see if I can get this, okay, you have two screws, uh, one here, one here, and then you turn this to the front you have two more screws these two which are not covered up so once I get those out then it's just a matter of taking the little end caps off and uh, we'll get the uh, has your little UFL plugs that uh, have to be taken out. So, carefully move. Okay. Now, get those out. So, what that does, if you can see, it allows these little caps right here to pop off, and then it shows what's on the inside, which is a little UFL connector. And I'll just take a little plastic iPhone 
pry tool, pop that off, comes right out, pop the other one off, careful not to cause any damage to anything else. There you have it. And you have your camera and your gimbal, one piece, so you can either use this to fly around, maybe tie these up, or in my case, I have a broken camera, which I have to send back and hopefully get fixed. I uh, hope that helps anyone. Uh, if you like the video, just uh, hit the like button. Thank you.